DJ TV. Igbo history must be taught across Biafra land. No more singing of Nigerian national anthem, plus no more use of Fulani cows for festivities across Biafra land, says indigenous people of Biafra. This is DJM TV Daily News Update. The Director of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra, Chika Edozim, released a New Year message which contained the ban of the singing of the Nigerian National Anthem in all schools across Biafra land, as well as the use of Fulani cows for festivities in the Igbo land and have said that beginning from January 2022, the Biafra National Anthem will be sung in schools across Biafra land as well as the Igbo history must be taught in primary and secondary schools. A dozium who spoke on behalf of the group said that there will be a department which will be assigned the duty of teaching Igbo histories both in primary and secondary schools across the southeastern part of the country. Also speaking in his New Year message, Chika Edozie made it known that the indigenous people of Biafra were going to sustain a worldwide campaign for the unconditional release of their leader Mazin Namdekanu and said that the campaign will be called Prisoner of Conscience Campaign and have said that all lovers of Biafra, IPOP family members, Biafrans and friends of Biafras should change their profile pictures on social media to the official campaign posters. While speaking in his New Year message, Edozie made it known that the Director of State will be creating a new department in IPOB to add to those already existing under the Directorate of State. He said the department will be designated as IPOB Education Department. Edosiem also said that the primary responsibility of the IPOB Education Department is to teach our history, language, tradition, and culture to our children. He said, we have about three books that will be published this new year in the furtherance of this. Adding that after the head of this department is made public, Biafran writers will be called upon to bring forward books and educational materials to be published for our children in primary and secondary schools. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update. And if you're just joining us, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. The Directorate of State of the Indigenous People of Biafra, Chika Edozie, also said during his New Year message that beginning from tonight, no more Nigerian national anthems in all schools in Biafra land. Our children must no longer be reminded daily that they are under oppression by singing the national anthem of the oppressors. School authorities and proprietors have a responsibility of teaching our children our national anthem. The Biafra National Anthem. Edozem also said that with effect from April 2022, a ban has been placed on Fulani cows in Biafra land and said that Fulani cows will not be used for any social or ceremonial events and festivals in Biafra land. Rather, our native cows will be used for these events traditional custodians of our culture, the clergy and towns union must ensure that this message gets to the grassroots. According to Edozim, we cannot continue to eat and bring cause and domination upon our land and upon ourselves by consuming cows that were used for bestiality. 
Chikaido Zen, the Director of State for the Indigenous People of Biafra, also called on all IPOP families in his New Year message to activate the earlier instruction that has been passed to them. He said we shall embark on a worldwide protest in cities and capitals around the world, adding that this campaign will be for the unconditional release of Mazin Nam Dikanu. He also said that all members of IPOP should prepare for this global protest with focus on the British Nigerian Embassy, the Kenya Embassy and the United Nations. He also said that the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra will vigorously pursue the programs and actions that they have outlined for the year 2022 and that the ones that have been made public have been made public and others will be made public in the appropriate time. You are still locked on to your favorite channel, DJM TV Daily News Update, where you get the latest and best news. If you're just joining us, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. So there you have it guys, the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB have called on all of their members to get ready for a protest and to change all their social media profile pictures to the campaign poster for this protest. They've also placed a ban on Fulani trained cows in the Biafra land, southeastern part of the country, also placing a ban on the singing of the Nigerian National Anthem effective from 3rd of January 2022 in every school in the southeastern part of the country. Now they've called on school owners and proprietors of schools to learn the national anthem of Biafra and get ready to teach their children and of course those who flaunt the others will be made to face the consequences. Now a lot of persons have actually reacted to this news about the ban of cows, the ban of the singing of Nigerian national anthem and you know the plant protest as well as many other itineraries that they've drafted that as well as also teaching the Igbo history, language and culture to children in primary and secondary schools. Now while some persons have praised the move by the indigenous people of Biafra to ensure that Igbo language is taught in all schools, be it primary, secondary, whether it's public or private, some persons have said uh, that there are some itches about the bans that have been placed on some certain things in Biafra land. For instance, they said the teaching of Igbo language is you know very very welcome it's highly welcome as a matter of fact people should be taught where they come from they should be taught about their history they should be taught about their language and their culture it's a very good development but the ban on the singing of the nigerian national anthem in primary and secondary schools as well as you know events taking place in biafra that is something that they think will make uh, you know the nigerian government come up strongly against the indigenous people of biafra in 2022 some other persons have also pointed, you know, out the fact that the ban placed on Fulani cows in the southeastern region of the country is a welcome development. Others have said, well, it's supposed to be a choice. You choose to eat a cow meat or not, you can decide to do away with it if you want to, uh, but that uh, nobody actually has the right to tell you what to eat and what not to eat. Now, you know, a lot of controversies, a lot of what if we do this, what will happen, you know, a lot of things, options have been going on. And some persons are saying, it seems as though the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, are coming back a little bit organized and, you know, they're coming back with a lot of strategies. Now, owing to some prophecies that were given at the beginning of the year that Mazinam the Kanu will be released this year and they will come out victorious because according to the prophet, he said, Kanu is the light of Africa. Now, guys, what are your thoughts and comments concerning these issues we just pursued? IPOB have said no more singing of Nigerian national anthem in any school in Biafra land, no more use of Fulani cows for any festivities in the southeastern part of the country, and Igbo language must be taught in primary and secondary schools, not just the language, the culture, tradition of the people, and all of that. Guys, what are your thoughts and comments concerning these issues we just pursued? Drop them below in the comment section. Welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with us to the very end of this video. Please don't forget to like, share this video, also drop your comment on the issue that was raised and don't forget to go a step further by turning on the notification bell so you'll be one of the first persons to get notified whenever we drop any new video. Do follow us on Facebook, on Instagram and also check out our website at 
djmtv.news where we drop news 247. Now do not forget you can also place your advert here at djmtv and be rest assured that you will get good value for your money. Now until we come your way again with another exciting edition of djmtv daily news update, do not forget that here at djmtv we set the standard. Yeah. Yeah.